Hey, what's up team Get Some? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to another episode of Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, we're doing Wendy's Combination First Kitchen. We're in Japan, but this is also a collab with my son and his girlfriend who are in California. What is up guys? I'm the Dude's Got It, and today we're being joined by... Me, surprise. Julie, she's back again. And today, we're doing another episode of Eric Mealtime USA versus Japan, and we are going to... Wendy's. Wendy's, we're gonna be trying out Wendy's today. So we're comparing Wendy's USA to Wendy's Japan. We'll see who does better. Let's check it out. I myself have actually, surprisingly, I've never been to Wendy's and I've never tried their food. I heard a lot about them and I'm kind of excited to try their food and see how good it is. Um, have you ever tried Wendy's? I did. I, well, not their burgers. I just go for their smoothie. It's not smoothies. Um, it's milk a milkshake, shake. but that's about it. I'm not really familiar with their burgers or their sandwiches. If, if they serve sandwiches, um, I've never really looked at their menu. But, yeah, that's the only experience I have with Wendy's. Yeah, she told me there's good milkshakes there. So, let's go check it out and see what they got. Let's go. Yeah. Now what do I do? You gotta order. It's a computer. <laughs> she can come to me. I've heard from somebody that that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we get it? Yep, you got it. You got two of them now. Now we got two of them. That's a cancel. Cancel? Is yeah. it going to cancel everything? Or it just... It should, or it should come through. Well, not, not hitting on them now. That's fine. So a bit of a fail here. I've accidentally ordered two fries and I only want one and I can only cancel the whole order. I got to go outside and catch my breath. Oh, that was stressful. Was it? Oh. All right, I guess it's up to me to order the food. So here we'll hit English. We're gonna dine in. And now we're going to get the beef chicken. So we're gonna get spicy chicken filet. <laughs> Our carts. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna get, you wanted the wild rock, right? Sure. All right, wild rock. Hit me. And then baconator, wusa, single. Then, let's see, we got those three, and there's some, we gotta get the, uh, the fungi burger. Yep. Just to be, cover all the bases. Oh yeah, let me make sure I have enough cash for all this. Okay, yeah, that would help. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the fries, and they have these uh, really good fries, which is like different flavors and things like that. So, I'm gonna get chicken consomme, just one. Then we're gonna go to side menu. And we're gonna get some Wendy's chili. Since chili. We're splitting it, we'll get the end though, just because we're splitting it. Yeah, a couple spoons. Okay. Yep, it's really good chili. Then, uh, you want something to drink? What you want to drink? Yes. Well, this is melon soda for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you want medium probably, right? Yeah, yeah. So then, eh? I'll have, uh, <laughs> I'll have a tea. Okay. Lemon tea. Yeah, lemon, got peach ice. Okay, udon cha. Udon cha? Because I know that doesn't have sugar in it. Yeah. Spicy chicken filet, burger, baconator, USA, the flavored fries. Yeah, it looks good to me. Three thousand, right. exactly three thousand yen, so it's a little under thirty bucks. How about Let's that? Check out. Wow, did we order that much? Sure did. Yes, we did. Whoa, this is cool. You just order it off the tablet. All right, let's do this. I kind of wanted to try the pretzel bacon pub. I wonder if there's an actual like pretzel in it, or that's just the name. Pretzel? No, the. The bun. Oh, it's is a, pretzel? a pretzel. There's no pretzel in it. I thought there was the a bun is a pretzel. Oh. What did you expect? You're and this bite is, in. This one's probably like their signature one, right? Well, how many patties is that's three patties? The thing I'm is pretty a tower. sure Japan does not have this. Oh yeah, that's huge. Look at that. They even got like a little fireplace. This is cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna go for uh, just a single. Bag. Oh, what is this? Apple peak and. Pecan salad. Apple pecan salad. That sounds good. Fries. Right there. Chili cheese fries. Frosty. Apparently this is what they're known for. What should we do? Should we go for a chocolate or a vanilla? I want to get the chocolate. All right, so just to recap. Pretzel bacon burger, apple pecan salad, chili cheese fries, and the milkshake. Let's 
check out. Yoink. And you go to America, there's no shortage of soda selections. The food is secure. I didn't know they give you a free milkshake when you order on the kiosk. So we ended up with two milkshakes. Let's go eat. Alrighty, we have ordered up a bunch of stuff and we are going to get into the chili first. Oh, smells heavenly and it comes with some hot chili sauce. Perfect. Oh, it's a chili oil. Nice. Need any crackers? Mm -hmm. I haven't had chili in a long time. A lot of ground beef in here. The beans are good. The spice level is just right. Nice and thick. We're off to a good start. So in Japan, Wendy's has bought out the first kitchen chain, which is a Japanese burger chain, and now they collab together. That's how it works. So you get double the burgers in one place. So this is udon tea and it is unsweetened, which is the best kind of tea, I think. Yeah, better than Lipton. So that was Wendy's chili. You guys got something to bring the heat? All right guys, so we got the food. Look at this. So the condiments first, the pecans, two choices of pecans. Actually, I think they're the same. Our dressing for our salad, two things of ranch. Of course, can't forget the ranch. And look at this, the burger. Ooh, oh, they even have fries in it, not that. Bacon fries and some pickles I see. It's under there. Ooh, and some cheese. And that's our chili cheese fries. Now that looks, I know, that looks good. Comes with the beans as well. And then we got our little salad. The salad actually looks really good. Like it's leafy. It looks really like a lot of volumes in there. And this is our setup right here. We have to shoot in this little corner. It's literally like for handball. Yeah. It's like a handball court. Because our neighbors are loud and it's windy. So we're going to be shooting right here. And the and whole everyone, sh can, everyone see can see you. us. It's so weird. All right, well, let's feast in. I'm going to go give a bite of the burger. I like how much like cheese and like, look, the meat is hanging off of the bun. Yeah. That's like well, I generous. Did, I have to say though, it's quite small for oh. the price that it was. I believe it was like $7, was it? Mm. And the pretzel, this the bun is supposed to be the pretzel, but mm. I don't know. Does it taste like a pretzel? Not at all. No? Okay. <laughs> all I taste is the meat. Oh. Seriously, it's so meaty. Mm. Mm. The Frosties taste really good. But compared to In-N-Out, I think In-N-Out is just so much better. So you think In-N-Out has the best milkshakes? I really do, because they have strawberry, and we like to like do the Neapolitan one, but yeah. it's hot today. Like It's mid-February oh, wow. here mm -hmm. in California, and it's really warm. Like It feels like summer. Yeah, warm. weather's up in the 80s. It's actually, yeah, it's 80s. So it sound, smells, um, feels like summer. Mm -hmm. Dude, this burger, I gotta say, they pack bacon and beef in here and it's just like literally like the bun like it's just a meat delivery system really? like that's all i taste is the meat a little bit of cheese in there i wish they would put in a little bit of lettuce for some different texture they didn't put lettuce no lettuce, lettuce no vegetable it's like just cheese and meat and pickles it's literally all it's you literally taste literally how meat. americans want their food mm. okay the first burger We've got a bunch of burgers all cut in half. We're gonna do the spicy chicken first because that's the one that I just pulled out without looking at. Give you guys a look. Looks like some really nice breading there. Good lighting as well too in here. Oh, nice tomato. Oh, look at that mayonnaise. All right, oh, it's getting messy. Oh, it's a bit on the dry side. I've had better at Japanese convenience stores. One bite will be enough of this. And now the spice is coming in. It's helping a little, but too dry. What's next from you guys? I'm gonna try my salad now. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of dressing on it. Not too much. I just wish like a little more vegetables and salad. Maybe I should just put some of the salad in here. <laughs> Oh, and there's also fries. Mm. 
it's hard to notice the fries because like the meat like literally just overpowers all of the ingredients. The meat is like bigger than the yeah, bun it's, itself. It's hanging out of the bun, which I give points to that because they're not skimpy on their meat. Mmm. Mm. The salad is sweet. Way better. And this is feta cheese. The pecan, it's sweet. It's like coated in sugar, so mm. it makes it really sweet. Um, there's not much. There's not much savory to it, honestly. Yeah, just like a sweet, a little bit of tanginess. I yeah, tanginess it. from the vinaigrette. But aside from sweet. that, it's like a very sweet salad. I'm not really a big fan of that, but I don't know. I feel like the burger. Once you put the piece of lettuce in it, it just adds like an extra layer of flavor to it. Try That's it. it. Okay, I'm gonna try the salad. Yeah. Mm. I like that. There's big. Like they put actual chunks of apple in it. You see yeah. That? And it See looks that? fresh like, too, like it was like, cut up this morning. Yeah. Mm. 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 Dude, this salad literally tastes like candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this literally tastes like candy. Like it's all sweet. Like you don't taste the bitterness of the vegetables. And it's like no savor t savory taste. It's mm -hmm. literally like, like if I were to introduce a child to salad, this would be the first salad I'd give them because they think it would taste like candy. I would prefer my salad a little more like vinegary or like mm -hmm. a tangy type of taste. This is a little overwhelming, a little too sweet in my opinion. I totally agree. Incoming, the next burger is this one. I believe this is the Rapungi burger, which is a Japanese nightlife area. So it's got the egg on it, lots of tartar sauce, some bacon and cheese. And then there's the patty on the bottom. This looks delightful. But this is definitely not gonna be dry, I can tell you that. The patty is very dry. <laughs> I guess wrong. It's weird. But it is a Japanese designer burger, so <clears throat> as expected, it should be weird. The bacon's horrible, the egg is average. The tartar sauce is banging. And the beef, I wouldn't feed it to my dog if I had a dog. You guys got any unique items in Wendy's USA? Sorry, going too early for the dessert, but I just had to what try What are you talking about? I drank the milkshake first if oh, I tried really? the salad. It's been hot, like I said. Mm. I just wanted something to cool me down. Ooh. You like it? Mm-hmm. Now, how would you rate it compared to the In-N-Out one? Well, we can't comp In-N-Out is just like the king of like milkshakes, honestly. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever been to California, you have to try In-N-Out milkshakes. That's what every California is. They use Byers ice cream. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I feel like the milkshake is good. Like, it's not bad or anything. But compared to, like, other milkshake, it just kind of lacks in texture. Mm -hmm. Like, it lacks in the creaminess. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It kind of kind of drinking it, it feels a little soupy at times. Well, that was kind of my opinion. Yeah. Maybe it's a little melted, but... It's it's kind of lacking in that creaminess that I look no, at the milkshake. No, I know what you mean. It, it tastes like you can taste the crystal, like the ice crystals mm. almost. It's still it's good really though. I really like it. And if there's no in and out around, like say if I'm in like a state that doesn't have in and out, <laughs> I, this would be my next best you know choice. Really? <laughs> yeah, this would be my next choice. I'd go for the milkshake. Next up, this one I'm really excited about. This is called the Baconator. Oh yeah, I know they have this in America. The patty's bigger. You get. A little bit more bacon. Looks like mayonnaise and ketchup, maybe some onions. Cheese on the bottom, cheese on the top. All right, let's get into it. Oh yeah, this is the one. It's meaty, it's moist, full of flavor. The bacon's coming through, the cheese is coming through. Best one by far, so far. Next up are the fries with chicken consomme seasoning, and you gotta shake the bag. It's called Saka Saka Fries. Ready? Shake it. Oh, this is good. It's lit, y'all. 
We got Andy on camera. Andy was the one that suggested. Yep, I recommended chicken consomme fries. Honestly, I thought chicken consomme didn't sound very good to me, but this is it's delicious. So I am tasting the chicken. It's got a nice saltiness to it, and cheese as well too. They're perfect fries. Mm -hmm. Not that dry, they're moist. Mm -hmm. Those fries were way better than I had expected. That's like, it's surpassing McDonald's level. Yeah, I said it. Surpassing McDonald's level, that's right. McDonald's is the holy grail of french fries. Everybody knows that. So what do you guys got in Wendy's USA for fries? I wanna know. I wanna try the chili fries. I would love to put ranch on this, but I'm not really sure. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try it without the ranch first and see what I think. All right, I wish I had a fork, but. Should we hold on, I'll try it with you. Ah, it's all good. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. It's literally drenched in like chili. Ooh. I can taste the chili. I can taste the chili. Like it almost feels like they took a can of chilies and they just like wham, like whammed it right in there and then I they also, just like stirred it up. Now I would like to point out that I like how they mix the chili in because there are times mm -hmm. when like you purchase something like this and they just put it on the top. So the ratio between fries and like the chili cheese isn't like, equal. isn't yeah, isn't equal. So this one, it's really great that they mix it in. So yeah, so you don't have like just, you know, fries mm. that's not coated with chili cheese. Mm. You know. I don't know, I love how the chili makes the fries like nice and soggy. Yeah. This is actually really good. You can put this in a burrito, dude. Ooh, this in a burrito? Yeah, that's a Californian thing. I think like people putting fries mm -hmm. and avocados in their burritos. Like, yeah, that's like something that California people are obsessed with. like. Fries and burritos and mm -hmm. avocados. Here, you wanna try it with some ranch? I asked, I think the ranch adds a little bit of creaminess to it. It gives it an extra layer of flavor. Ooh, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna try to mm. go with my hands. Are you supposed to eat chili fries with your hands? Probably not, huh? With pork, huh? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. It's really good. Mm hmm. I think it's my favorite thing out of all of Are you serious? Mm hmm. Because it's so different. Like, there's not that many fast food places that straight up serve chili cheese fries. Are you sure? Okay, name a place. Name a place other than Wendy's that serves chili cheese fries. I don't know. I can't think of any fast food. Maybe Jack in the Box. No. I think this is. Very unique to Wendy's. I like yeah. it. The salad is really good. I like the salad too. Mm. I love my ranch. I have an obsession with ranch. Sorry, I'm gonna steal your pork. I can't, I can't eat like an animal. Mm. Thanks. Mm. And definitely way better. Way better with ranch, I'd say. Good job, Wendy's. I like how you describe Wendy's when we went in there. <laughs> she said Wendy's was an upscale McDonald's. <laughs> it kind of okay. is. So I haven't like had any like real food from Wendy's just because when I was in elementary school, there was this news that broke out that this lady was eating a salad and there was like a severed finger in her salad and that you know hearing that as like a 10 year old that just completely like turned me away from the chain <laughs> so i never really like got any of their food but it turned out that that lady actually just took her neighbor's severed finger that was a farmer and just put it in her salad oh so really it was a hoax it was a hoax all right guys so that wraps it up unfortunately as we wrapped up our meal the camera wrapped up its battery so that's dead so we're going to be talking on the cell phone to you guys so for all the food that we ordered today, I finished the burger and we're still working on the rest. I feel like somebody's gonna say how I look like I didn't touch it. <laughs> you did, but I did. we're going to rate this meal and tell you guys what we think about it. And in my honest opinion, I would give Wendy's out of one to six Eric heads, 
I would give this a three. It's very low. I say like the food is just average to me. Like it's nothing special. Some things are really good, like the fries right here. These were definitely special in my heart. And their milkshakes, pretty darn good. But for the burger, it was a little too meaty. Like the meat just overpowered anything else that was in the burger. And all you could taste was the meat. That was a little disappointing, but I was not disappointed with how much meat they packed into that burger. Um, as for the salad, um, I don't have anything great to say about it. It's all right. The only thing is it tastes like candy. Like, I don't really like my salad tasting like candy. But if you're into sweet salad that doesn't taste like salad, man, this is the salad for you. What do you think? Okay, so I would rate it probably a four. A four. I think the chili cheese fries were okay. Mm. They're not my favorite. Um, I don't like soggy fries to begin with. It does taste good. The ranch just gives it a little bit more flavor. I really do like how they mix the chili into mm -hmm, the fries instead mm -hmm. of just like adding it on That's, top. Yeah, it, it or, like distributes the flavor equally. Yeah, even ratio. Yeah. Um, the salad, on the other hand, it was a little bit too sweet. Um, <laughs> this one, right? The, yeah. the pecans that they give you in a different packet, it's like coated in sugar. Um, there's like cran dried cranberries which adds more sweetness there's apples in it too and you can't really taste the chicken the chicken is like tasteless like yeah there's no flavor there's no, flavor there's no it's the like chicken. unseasoned yeah <laughs> it's unseasoned it, it, it's unseasoned See? the frosties they're sure. good too but like i mentioned earlier i just prefer um in and out and I, I just wish it had like a, an array of flavors they only have vanilla the and vanilla chocolate. and chocolate that's kind of bland yeah that's pretty basic and then am i missing the burger I thought the burger was delicious. Really? I, I just thought there was just too much meat in it. I think the burger kind of improved my overall rating. Ah, so you like the meaty really burger. You like, like the meat delivery system. Yeah, I, I, I must confess, I am American. <laughs> I like I like a lot of meaty stuff too, but it would taste better if there was some lettuce in it just to like soak up some of the, the oil, meat juice yeah. Yeah, in, in the burger. But I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. So she rates it a four. I rated it a three. That wraps up the episode for this time. Um, you want to plug your social media? Give them a shout out. Uh, my Instagram is Jules Canda, J-U-L-E-S-C-A-N-D-U-H. All right. So go follow her. I'm on social media as Zot Melonpon. Unfortunately, I don't post all that often. So go follow her to get a peek of my life. I've been taking surf photos and trying to get some good angles going. And if you want to see my work, go check out her stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Back to you, Eric Surf 6. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event, it comes in a very fancy wrapper. Look at this. This is called the Wild Rock because there's no bun. Is it rocking? How do you even pick it up? Oh boy, this is a monstrosity, isn't it? Okay, oh, okay, I see. It's a low carb burger, right? Yeah, this is the low carb version. So it looks like we've got egg, two pretty good sized patties, tartar sauce, and the lettuce and tomato going in. Not feeling it. Nah. One more bite, let's give it another chance. No, nah. needs a bun. One more bite. Oh, I guess it's okay. Forgot the bacon. Not bad, actually. The wild rock is rock hard. It's like chewing a rock. Yeah, it definitely takes the most time to chew. The most volume. It's all right. Meh. Well, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there it was. Burger King Japan versus Burger King USA. So there it was, Burger King Japan versus Burger... Oh, wait, Wendy's Japan versus Wendy's USA. That's right. I know what burger chain I'm in right now. So for my rating, oh, boy, this is a tough one. This is a really tough one because we've got two burger chains that are collabing together here, and that brings it up a level. It, definitely the menu is vast here. I could have ordered a bunch of other stuff as well too, but I wanted to focus on the burgers. And so overall, I think 
the burgers were interesting. They weren't above and beyond, I'm not gonna say that. And the chili was definitely like next level. The chili, I'm very impressed. Very impressed with the chili. And the fries, very impressed. So actually the side orders take the cake for this particular video for me here in Japan. So anyway, I'm gonna go four, four out of six. It's a gnome, four out of six, y'all, it's a gnome. And I didn't get any of these things from a vending machine, but this is in my store. I got it from my vending machine. Thanks to Jules and Dudes Got It for your participation. Uh, links to their social media down be down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.